wanted to give as much time to Brother Jerry because we want to hear from him. The Lord's going to minister through him. You know, we are Heritage of Faith Wetbank. And Brother Jerry's the Heritage of Faith founder in Fort Worth. So our father, our spiritual leader, our spiritual overseer, man that we look to and honor and love and respect and admire greatly. And we thank God for him that he's here to minister to us tonight. And the last time he was here, we didn't think we'd ever see him again in South Africa. You know, but, but he's here tonight. And I want to tell you, I just wish I could dance. I'm so happy. <laughs> Won't you all just welcome Brother Jerry Savelle to the pulpit, please? Thank you. Love you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. So good to be here tonight. Good to be with all of you. I'm looking forward to these services and have great expectation. I believe God is going to do some things you're going to really like. Hallelujah. So I think we ought to praise Him in advance. Amen. Hallelujah. Go ahead and lift your hands. Give Him a good shout. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. I received back in the back room there before coming out, and I wrote it down because I didn't want to forget it, uh, just a, a short word from the Lord, and I believe it certainly applies to some people in here tonight. When you think nothing is happening, it is. When you think nothing is working, it is. When you feel like quitting, don't. When it seems impossible to stand, you're almost there. I always respond to faithfulness and I will not allow you to fail. You're headed for the great, a great victory and I'll personally take you there. Yeah. Amen. That's, that's from the Lord, praise God. He's going to personally take you to a great victory. How many of you need a great victory in your life? Yeah. Well, lift both hands and say, I receive that in Jesus' name. Say it again. I received that. I received Amen. I think my first trip to South Africa was 1982. Not one word has ever failed to come to pass when he finds somebody that'll dare believe it. Once again, speaking of Abraham in Romans chapter 4, it said he staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God, and being fully persuaded that what he had promised, he was able also to perform. The message translation says, he was sure that God would make good on what he had said. Amen. He was sure that God would make good right. on what he had said. Amen. You know, I, I, I'm thinking of something that happened way back in the early days of my ministry. And once again, I'm, I'm learning faith. I'm learning to trust God. and I'm, I'm learning about His faithfulness. And uh, the Lord said to me one day, He said, if you get to the place where you honor your word the way I honor my word, then you'll never struggle again. If your word, you determine to fulfill what comes out of your mouth, the way I fulfill what comes out of my mouth, then you'll never struggle again. I've stood on a promise of God for as long as 20 years before it finally came to pass. But you know what? After it came to pass, that 20 years were the shortest 20 years I ever spent in my life. Yeah. Amen. Because I just wouldn't quit. Amen. 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 God's looking for non-quitters. Right. That He can manifest Himself and manifest His power manifest His greatness, praise God. All it takes is some folks to just determine not to quit. Yeah, we, we, we like to think about how faithful God is. But what He's wondering is, how faithful are you? Because He got big plans for the faithful. 
I said he has big plans for the faithful. In fact, if you haven't been faithful, I would strongly suggest you get to working on that right now because God has some big plans for faithful people. Amen. You're going to be glad you remain faithful or you became faithful because these last days, the faithful are going to flourish like no other time in their lives. Praise God. Did you find 2 Timothy chapter 4 yet? Uh. That's, I've finished my introduction. I want to preach. Praise God. Amen. I'm just kidding you. I'm just kidding you. Second Timothy chapter four. Let's look at this together. You know the scripture very well. One of the greatest men of faith that ever lived besides Jesus himself, the apostle Paul. In fact, when I get to heaven, I want to tell Paul that I preached all his sermons. Praise God. Second Timothy chapter four and look at verse seven. Now this, this to me, is the greatest definition of faithfulness that the Bible offers. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. That's the Bible definition of faithfulness. I have fought a good fight. I finished my course. And I have kept the faith. Amen. If you want to know what faithfulness is in the eyes of God, that's it. Fighting a good fight. Refusing to give up. Amen. Don't bow to the circumstances. Don't bow to the enemy. Hallelujah. Fight a good fight, praise God. Praise finish your course. Praise it's not how well you start, it's how you finish. Paul said, I have fought a good fight. I finished my course. And I kept the faith. That's the definition of faithfulness. Amen. Fight a good fight. Amen. Real Christianity is a fight. Yes. Amen. If you thought coming to the Lord, it was going to be a bed of roses and hallelujah. All we do is just pray hallelujah and sing and rejoice. <laughs> you ain't been in this long enough. It's a fight. But it's a good fight. It's a good fight. And the good fights are the one you win. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. You fight the good fight of faith. Yes. And then you determine that you're going to stick with it. Stay the course. Yes. Stay the course. Don't just start good. Finish great. And keep the faith. That's the definition of faithfulness. Can you say amen? amen. All right, now. Let me uh, wrap this up. and We'll take it up here again tomorrow but I'm not sure at what time I'll get wrapped up. Praise God. <laughs> Listen to this. Faithful means to be constant. It means to be consistent. It means never changing regardless of the circumstances. Faithfulness, consistent, constant, never changing nor giving up regardless of the circumstances. Faithful people don't turn back. Faithful people don't let go of the promises of God. Faithful people hold fast the profession of their faith without wavering. Faithful people know that things which are seen are subject to change. Faithful people have the attitude of the Apostle Paul, I know this shall turn. Faithful people also believe like Paul, I'm not terrified by my adversary. And finally, like the Apostle Paul, faithful people are determined to stand, and having done all to stand, they just keep standing, praise God. I have ministered to you before that God sends a messenger with a message. And always when He sends a messenger with a message, it's for our deliverance and it's for our prosperity and I stand before God extremely grateful that and I said this to brother Jerry personally today in the car I said I'm extremely grateful that God's defended his life and saved his life so that the messenger could come and stand before us tonight and deliver the messages that he message that he has given so far to me 
that is worth more than gold can ever buy because it carries years of faithfulness. I don't know about you, but I receive the faithfulness. I receive that word to be faithful. And I'm encouraged and exhorted to continue my faithfulness. Hallelujah. Thank you, Brother Jerry. We thank God for. And his, his unwavering, undying passion to travel the miles that he travels. To bring the message and be a messenger for that message to us. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. I want to say, you know, the thing that set me free financially was, and you all know this, I've said this many times. When I heard Brother Jerry's message, if Satan can't steal your joy, he can't keep your goods. And I would drive in my car and I would praise Jesus and praise Jesus. And those days, you know, we didn't have cell phones. If you were talking in the car, you were really considered mad, you know. But I didn't care. I was mad about having Jesus work in my life. And he changed my life because if Satan can't steal your joy, he cannot keep your goods. And if he... If he and if you will continue to be faithful, you will have what the Lord said through his prophet that we will flourish and we will experience days of heaven on earth.